hi before I start talking about my talons I just want to say there is a tutorial on the makeup if anybody's interested I wanted to make this because there have been a lot of comments going around on my videos like there's anywhere else to talk about it but um, yeah a lot of people ask are those your real nails and then people other people will come in and feel the need to chime in and say oh yeah they're totally fake at like five seconds and or one minute and two seconds you can totally see the fake nails um, okay so that there's that's that's the reason why and there is a part two because people who do listen and believe that they are my real nails want to know how I've gotten them that long and how I take care of them and how I function in life with them because for some reason long nails equal having a really hard time doing things my nails are real I've never in my life ever ever in my life had acrylics or anything fancy on them or done to them minus like a manicure but even still I never I've actually I wasn't actually allowed to have my nails this long until recently or I wanna say like the past year or so because I number one I played the piano I took piano lessons till I was like 18. <laughs> Secondly, I taught tennis for several years and this just, I tried to grow my nails long while teaching tennis but with the racket and you know hard hitting and everything like that um, between practices they would just break so then I quit. <laughs> I don't take lessons anymore, I still play but I don't teach tennis anymore. I wish I still played. Um, but yeah so now I have the opportunity to grow my nails the only thing I'm guilty of that's not real on my nails if you can even tell is the tea bag method when um, and I'll post a link to the video that I very first saw and I was like oh my gosh that's genius um, it helps when like let's say there's some there's one on this nail there's some on this one this one especially can you tell? Maybe you can, but to me, I can't really tell unless you go really, really close. You can see right there. Anyway, that's just to help, um, like, a, bro a nail that's been broken. I'm also one of those people, if one breaks, like this one here, I will not cut the rest of my nails. I don't care if they're uneven. Like, here's a short one, here's another short one, and then BAM! I've got claws on the others. I really don't care. It doesn't matter to me if they're uneven. I could care less what they look like, if it looks bad with some long, some short. I don't care. I'm not going to cut nine other fingernails because the one broke. So, moving on to how I grew them this long. All oh, I haven't done anything special. I just take care of my hands. I don't do anything, you know really intense or really rough or put them in situations where they would break or be snapped or anything like that uh... i don't i am careful when i open things such as like cans i use a knife actually to a butter knife to put under it and i flip it up and then i open it that way i never use like my fingernails uh... what else i pretty much do everything the same i can still do laundry I can still button buttons. I can still use the restroom. That comes a lot too. How do you go to the bathroom? Um, just like you do. I can brush my daughter's hair. I do laundry. I wash dishes all the time, every single day. I clean, whatever. I have no problems with them. I'm just careful with what I do. Uh, also, I take vitamins. I don't know if it matters or it helps, but I just take regular women's every day or one a day vitamins and that's it that's all I do to get them to grow take care vitamins and yeah what else and by the way these are the hands of a girl who was a severe nail biter I'm talking stubs for fingers like the really icky it to me I don't know I'm sure I'm not the only one that bit their fingernails or does but I don't anymore obviously but I had it where it was like 
ugh, it's so gross to talk about. But it was like little, they were like little nubs and stubs where there were no, there's no nail whatsoever. And like my cuticles were all peeling at the top. And it was just very not cute and unattractive. And so not girly. And I, when I got braces years ago, I decided it was time to stop because they told me it would mess up my teeth. So I did stop. And yeah, I've been okay ever since. Like I said, I wish I had a picture of, like, when I was nine years old. Like, seriously, like, gross little, like, stubs. If you think my fingers look like sausages now, you should have seen them back in the day. They were pretty bad. If you do bite your nails, this can be yours as well. No, seriously, you can do it. It's just a matter of willpower, and, um, I know they do sell, like, the the nail polishes or whatever that polish that tastes bad that you can put on your fingers my parents actually did that to me because it was such a problem and it didn't work but it might work for you so I'm just throwing that out there I'm gonna extend that your way that's pretty much it for what I do and I oh to keep them clean I I'm a bit of a germaphobe so I whenever I wash my hands which is kind of frequently I clean under them always 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 I'll actually take a bar of soap and like scrape it with my fingernails so the soap gets under it and then I'll like I use a, a little tool to like get under there anyway that might be a little OCD but I'm just saying because another thing I've gotten was you long nails are like a breeding ground for like bacteria it's just a bacterial cesspool um, I'm not disagreeing because if you're not clean, they can get really, really nasty and, like, carry things that just sit there if you're not, you know, clean. Oh, another thing that has kept, I feel, that adds to keeping my nails strong is that I always have nail polish on them. This is very rare. I left them blank because I wanted to put an end to all the... They're not her real nail um, comments, uh, but usually I this is the longest, and this is like day three now. This is the longest I've gone without nail polish on. <laughs> yeah, it's a little scary, um, but that usually helps keep them a bit stronger. So that's pretty much it, and if there's anything I've left out or didn't go over uh, or you have a question about, I'm pretty sure I forgot something, and I'll remember it as soon as I turn the camera off. Uh, just leave it in a comment and I will get back to you there. Alright, hope this helped. Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye! <laughs>